folks, Dash back playing some more Kingdom New Lands. So during the last video that I failed horribly at, um, I found a crossroads in the forest that gave me a it looked like a scroll or a map, and I couldn't figure out what that did. But after I died, this uh, popped up on the screen showing kind of like a map to a larger world. So I'm guessing if I can finish the first map I was on, it'll take me to an actually a different map altogether. So I think that's what that connection was. So we're going to have to start a new game here and see if we can figure out some more stuff here. So every time you die, it starts you back over and they give you kind of a randomly generated king or queen. So I get the... Uh, Queen with the blue dress this time. I've never really looked to see if the clothes change, but I think the clothes and hair color might change. Something to look out for, but the beginning will be pretty much the same. Alright, this time I've got two peasant camps pretty close on the right side. Just kind of exploring a little bit here. The ship is back on the right side too, so I'm wondering if in the new lands it's uh, not as much randomly. Oh, I'll take that back. Here's a little mysterious rocket ships out on this side too, so there is still some randomly generated stuff out here. I probably shouldn't explore this much this early on, but uh, I'm just kind of curious the layout. And get these coins too. I wonder if there's coins always on both sides there if that's all randomly generated. Oh, 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 oh. Is this going to give me another map? No. Maybe because I already found the map in this, this world. And this is going to dead end. All right. I just realized I um, left my town with no walls whatsoever. I don't think you get attacked the first night, but that probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world to do. Why is this? There's two trees right next to each other. Look like one tree with a big gap in the bottom. It's like a entryway to the upside down. I definitely want to figure out. I hope I live long enough this time to be able to figure out what the ship does. I wonder if you need that to. I wonder if you need that to get to the next realm or the next world, or if just uh or if you have to actually beat the level to make it to the next map so i got a, lot, a whole lot of peasants now i just can't uh have them don't have the tools lined up to equip them all yet Alright merchant dude, I still know what you do for me. I focused on that a lot in the first video. I still don't know what it, what he does, but I'll try not to. Oh crap! <laughs> I guess having a wall in the first... Uh... <laughs> I guess you do need a wall the first night. Alright, oh that was dumb. I hope these archers have caught some rabbits at some point. Alright, good. Six. I can't afford another hammer to have my wall built now. Alright, that was a very dumb start to my game. I was, I was more worried about exploring than surviving. So, Lesson learned there. Evidently I am the uh, queen of the fish kingdom. Matches my dress. And again, last game I seemed to be being attacked from the left side the whole time. I don't know if that's just my imagination or if that was what was really happening. I don't know whether it's uh, dumb to assume that and build up my left side stronger or if it's dumb not to assume that. Alright, so that, that'll get me started pretty well. Alright, I, I, I learned my lessons. I'm not going to run up to the monster portal and poke my face right at it this time. No horse upgrade on this map. So the purpose is either going to be wipe out the portal on the mountainside or to do something with the ship. I think my priority to start will be to upgrade my town enough to get catapults and then maybe I'll take a look at the ship. It was very tempting since I've not seen myself get attacked from this side yet it would be to clear this peasant camp and build a farm right on that stream. But man do I not want to clear 
resources for soldiers that close. All right, I'm going to fall for the same old thing I always do. Let's see if I have enough time to upgrade this wall before night falls. Why is that archer going so far out when it's about to be nighttime? All right, so my wall got upgraded. I didn't, I didn't completely die off that time. Is the merchant gonna give me gold right away or does he wait till the next day? Give me money, give me money. You can do it, you can do it, you can shoot them with the arrows. Is that it for my tax tonight? The bad thing about this layout is there's not a whole lot of rocks here to put like archer towers and stuff on. So it's all open land. Though I can stage a few walls in a row. But really, after the first wall falls, that means all your defenses are pretty much dead at that point. I need one more coin to make the farmland, which the merchant will probably give me now. But I'm gonna go ahead and mark these trees to go away. It's early enough in the day that shouldn't kill off all my builders for that. Dude's gonna get tired holding his bow steady that like that the whole time. Give me money. Thanks. So this must be a gold exchange. Let me go ahead and make this farm and then I will go hire some more people. I was hoping some of these archers would give me money from rabbits. Farmer has been put to work, so that's good. My archers are such horrible shots. This deer just get around. Oh, he only died because he ran right back at him. So I'd like to recruit a few more farmers. I need one more coin to make another scythe. I'm not sure how many farmers can work on one plot at a time. 
My defenses are holding here for now. Calming night noises. Crickets. We got crickets outside in in the game. It's hard to tell which one they're coming from. So I just recruited a whole bunch of peasants from that side. I'm guessing they didn't make it to town <laughs> if the enemies got there first. must have died. A lot of times the guys can take like one hit and lose their coin but if they get keep getting hit by enemies the, they just kind of die. So you notice I still can't update my town hall again so I'm wondering if that does go with my theory that that rocket ship looking thing is what's required to upgrade your town hall to the next stage. So next time I get a, a decent amount of money I'm going to test that theory. I'm going out at night on the right side, so I'm testing my theory that I'm not getting attacked from this side. 
This could be very foolish, but uh, at least it'll let me see. I'm going out to find the rocket ship thing. I'll recruit these peasants on my way back if uh, I still have any money. I don't think I want to spend the money to build the boat just yet. Alright, uh, hopefully I have enough coins. Just barely, so... Once we get back... We'll see if it'll give us the prompt to update our town hall. Not that I'll be able to afford it now, but at least we can test that. You get a gold coin, and you get a gold coin. And indeed, we can upgrade our town hall now. I, obviously, I need eight coins to do it, but... Uh, theory confirmed? Or just a coincidence, but that seems pretty likely to me now that... Uh, that's required to upgrade your town hall again. I want to get move up to having knights before I move ahead too far. So we'll go ahead and do the next upgrade. Alright, so let's see if we have any more peasants that are ready to be recruited yet. This guy looks like my noble knight to me. I'm concerned for this guy. He's been doing this the whole game. I know that since I'm cut out on my screen, it looked like I was dabbing and not doing archery, but I was just trying to do a bow stance. Money, 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 money! Farmer's doing good work. Oh, that's almost too much money. I will come back to that in a bit. So I know I've got a bunch of gold coins waiting for me over here. Is go ahead and no, don't do that. All right. So the difference here is if I now that I have knights, if I put coins over this banner, the knights will lead a little attack squad out. I don't. I'm not quite to that point. What I am going to do is I'm going to take all these coins I just got, and I'm going to go see about upgrading the boat. See what that does. All right, so I am going to spend some money and see what this boat does. Last time I got several pieces and left them like this, and when I came back later, they were assembled. So I'm not sure if your builders come out and work on them or what's going on. But I will spend all of my money because I know I got a bunch waiting on my soldiers back in camp to see how many I can buy. So I'm out of money now, and I still have not. It's still prompting me saying I can buy more. So, I guess there's still m more to get. I'm curious if my builders are going to run out here for just magically be assembled next time. Yep, here comes my builder. So, I guess that is true. So, rather than going back and get coins, even though that would probably be the best use of my time, I'm going to watch my builders see what they actually do. We're going to build an arc. Arky, arky. Some interesting assembly there. It's like a skeleton popping up for the boards. That's kind of exciting, but in a relaxing kind of way with the relaxing music in the background. bottom half the boat has finished middle section oh we got our rudder looks like we're missing like five or six parts so it's like 10 or 12 more coins sorry buddy I'm out of money sorry buddy I'm out of money sorry buddy I'm out of money farmers give me gold thank you for the gold Lots of money now. Build a boat for my cow. Boop, 
boop, boop, boop, boop. Can't be that many more pieces needed. Out of money again. Guessing uh, I need a mast or something now. There's not that many gaps in the basic hull of the boat needed. Ooh, ooh. So I can't spend any more coins on the boat. Come on, builders. Come on, builders. I'm going to see what this boat does. Come running in your overalls and your hammer and your backwards hat. Let's get this boat put together. Oh, more coins. Oh! I got a fanfare. Are the builders actually like moving my boat now? They're gonna push it all the way to the, the dock. This is exciting. I'm probably gonna get attacked along the way here somewhere and make me lose my whole game, but uh, this is all new. I almost feel like I shouldn't be watching them the whole time because it's a little, actually a pretty decent uh, trek to the side. Oh, I got an archer in my, my boat. It's exciting. Is this another archer coming to jump in? Oh, I got a top archer there too. All right, I'm gonna go check on my town and then I'll come back and check the boat here in a minute. I was worried my guys were shooting uh, enemies, but they're just like mowing down all the deer they come across. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. So we still got a little ways to go. I should not edit this out at all. I should just sit here and watch the boat and leave that in my final video and see how much patience people have. Poor things. All right, sunrise and then my boat's here. Oh, well, my builders jump on the boat. They're ready to go. All right, I got enough coins saved up here, I think. And the fish kingdom moves on. All right, the crown safe. That must be a uh, legitimate victory condition. And a new area is unlocked. Alright, achievement is achieved. Start with a broken down boat, and I think it's a good place to stop, and we'll pick up here next time. Later, folks.